Tū ana te kā rea rea i te keo keo tanga o tarapō nui a kāwhea. Ka titiro i hoi a ki titi a o kūra ki te wāhi ko tauwhare papa uma. I titi ai e tō tūpai toko toko i mau ai te mauri o te manu. Haruru ana te maungara. Kia ora tātou te whānu. Ko wai tēnē tuake ki te mihi atu ki a koutou. Mai i te maunga o Matarua hau. Ki te whanganui a o rotu. A, anika tōku pepeha. Ko maunga haruru te maunga. Ko tangi tū te moana. Ko te ngaru e te awa. Ko tū tira te roto. Ko tāngoi o te marae. Ko ngāti kuru mō kihi ngā i tātara. Ngāti maranga tū he taua. Me ngai te ruruku ki tāngoio, ōku hapū. Ara, ko ngāti kahungunu te iwi. Tihai Māori, ara. I'd like to welcome everybody here uh, on this beautiful day uh, to speak about my takiwa, to speak about this area I know as Te Whanganui Aorotsu. We've got an awesome race coming up ahead, and thanks to Adventure Race, we're about to embark on an awesome journey. The 16th Track Me Adventure Go For 12 Youth Adventure Race was this year held on and around the spectacular Maunga Haruru Ranges in Hawke's Bay. The event included three hour and six hour races, but the New Zealand Secondary School Adventure Racing Championship was Te Rehi Te Kaumarua Haura. Ko ngā takahitanga o te Araroa i toro ki tōna whetu te kau kiromita mā te ngahere, ngā awa awa ngā ana me etahi whenua pāmu a nohoki. He kake maunga, māru ngā pahikara me hikoi whenua, he oma oma, he piki taura me te wāhanga rougain arā he momo awhe ararau. Arā anō ngā momo wero pera i te hoi waka, te awhe ararau me te mahi panga. Before finishing with a lap of the lake. Ultimately, it's a points race, with 100 points being awarded for all compulsory checkpoints and then big points available for optional checkpoints such as completing the gorging and caving sections, the bike ride to Te Tihi o Taraponui. Then there's a large number of points to be scored in the Rogain activity section later in the Ra. Speed is still very important, however, because it would divide kappa in the end if they are tied on points. There are penalties for every minute over 12 hours should teams not complete the course in time. I whakarōputia ngā kaiwhakataitai ko tahirau rima te kau nō ngā kura rua te kau mā toru ki ngā kapa whā te kau mā whetu, a i tau atu rātou ki tō rātou wāhi noho ki Guthrie Smith ki tūtira, i te ahiahi o mua atu i te rā o te whakataitai. I noho rātou ki ngā rūma wātea o te wāhi rā, i whakatūria o rātou tēneti ki te whira o tua atu o Guthrie Smith. Our old people would say, Kakatia haruru, ka tu whera tangi tu. Ah, kakatia tangi tu, ka tu whera maunga haruru. This whakatau ki talks about the bounty and the abundance that my people have lived in. Because in the winter seasons, when the time of tangi tu had closed, we'd all come in here and enjoy the bounty of bird life, kereru, and also our tuna here in the lakes. And in the summer seasons, when the lakes and the mountains would close their season, we'd open up and we'd go down to the water, have a fish, have a dive, and enjoy the kai there. Tūtira is known as a place of abundance, and this is right in between Maunga Haruru and Tangitū. Te waiu o tō tātou mātua tīpuna. Kia ora. There was a high level of excitement that evening as everyone prepared for the big rā. There were instructions to be read, tapu tapu to check, mahere to study, and courses to be plotted. And then after dinner, despite gentle ua falling, everybody gathered on the field for a greeting from Pediri. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, nau mai, hara mai, whakatau, koutou ma, kia ora. I kōrero tia e Pediri te hiringa o te wāhi i whakakao ai rātou. I puta hoki i āia ngā kupu whakatena tena, 
ke āta a tawhaitia e tātou katoa te taiao. Hei whakakopani i te pō i whakamaramatia ngā nekehanga o te kaupapa e te kaiwhakarite kaupapa e David Tate. He moata te haora e tīmata ai ngā mahi o te ata, ka kotahi atu te iwi ki te moi. He oi, koi rā te tikanga. Say hi to the GoPro! That's the kiddest! Yeah! You guys want to say hi? Yeah! Yeah! Pumped, yeah! How are you feeling for tomorrow? Um, I'm excited. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous. Um, are you looking yeah. forward to the bike ride? Um, yes, I quite like bike riding. Oh, that's good. What about the trek? <laughs> um, I don't like running as much, but yeah, I'm still looking forward to it. Good. And do you think you'll be able to put up with your team afterwards? Yes. I'm good. Good. Yeah. I'm glad. Yeah. I'm glad. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Come on. Thank you. Put some pro yeah. lunch making. Oh. <laughs> How are you feeling about tomorrow? I'm great. I'm glad it's good. What about the bike? I'm more excited for the bike than I am the run. Oh, well, that, that is good. What about are you looking forward to the cave? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm hoping it lost tonight. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be fine, let's yeah. hope you survive. Oh, God, you look great, man. Harpara at Braysoma Farm before the first mountain bike league, and there's time for last minute checks and study of their mahiri. Ropu Tautoko were instructed to leave the start area by 10 minutes prior to the 6am start time. Ko te wāhanga tuatahi, te kauma waru kilometer ki tua whinua. Toru rau, toru te kaumita o ngā mahi pikinga te roanga o te takahitanga tuatahi, kia tai atu rātou ki te wāhi whakawhiti tuatahi i te taunga o te rangi. Ollie Taylor from Onslow College's Purple People Eaters wore a GoPro throughout the day. That's so cool. In under an hour, New Plymouth boys had completed the first leg in front of Te Whakataitai Tāne, with John Paul College and Francis Douglas Memorial not far behind. It had been an eventful first wāhanga with the lead changing hands a few times. I Te Whakataitai Wahine, New Plymouth girls had a comfortable lead with Sacred Heart a wee way back and Whangarei girls behind them in third. Meanwhile, things were quite a bit tighter in the mixed competition with not much separating the St Andrews white team and Whakataane Hai. Luru te pū tiki wāraki e koe koe te tui e kete kete te kākā e kūkū te kereru Toirere te kōkō te akōrihi te kōkō tāua kia tapatahi kia kotahi rā Tiha i Māori ora Welcome to Maunga Haruru Our races will be coming up here shortly And they'll be coming on the adventure race and they'll stop at this space And they'll stand at this waharoa here this waharoa is called Tumanako and our tipuna, who was once the chief of this area, Waiatara, will welcome them. After that, they're going to shoot off down Tumanako Loop Track and find their way to Shine Falls. Geez, I hope they got a lot of stamina. If not, they can always take a berry from the kawakawa tree to give them a bit of sustenance and a bit of energy. Kia ora rā. 
te wahanga tuarua o te rehi mo te wero te kau marua haura i tā whaitia te iwa kilomita o te Boundary Stream Trek e ngā kapa i kitea i reira te waihirere a pāhua o Shine. Ko te waihirere motuhake rawa o te mataua Māui me tōna rima te kau mā waru mita. Maintaining their lead, the first kapa we saw was New Plymouth Boys High. Okay, we're coming up to checkpoint one here. Go. Go to Jebba Fan. Yo, look at that. Whoa. That's sick. Yes. What a wonderful. Oh, it is a. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Oh, what, what, a, what a banger. Most competitors stopped to pause and take in the splendour of the Waihidere, and some took the time to take photos. Great, now we keep moving. Thank you. Thank you. Haere tonu ana te wāhanga tuirua ki te rōri o Pohokura mā te toru kilometa to Transition Area 2 at the No Mai Station Cattle Yards. And upon arrival at the Cattle Yards, there was a surprise gear inspection, which was the first item on the activities list before they could all move to the next leg. Kia ora tātou, nau mai, hara mai ki o Pauahi. 
This is all Pawahi whānau. This is a farm that belongs to the MTT Trust. Our whānau bones are all throughout this space. All of the cave systems and the water systems that flow through here hold a lot of old kōrero. My kōraua and kuia were born in these caves. And so it's a very, very special place. This place just behind us here is called Te Ngākaua Poronui, which is a place of wānanga, where the old people in an older time used to talk and wonder about the stars. Kia ora tātou. Ki reira ki te ai te kōwhiringa tuatahi, he hikoi e rima kiromita ki te toka o Bell, a hoki rawa atu ki te taunga whakawhiti tuarua ki te taunga o Nau Mai ki Cattle Yards. So are we currently going to OCP 1 and 2? OCP 1 and 2, yeah. yeah. Okay, and it's just a big hill really. Yeah, it's a clear farm bit. Yeah. Yeah, we've been in trees pretty much the whole day, so it'll be... Oh, good. Is it 10 no, yeah. yeah. Keeping a pretty good time. We are like under the lowest expected times wow. regionally. Te atāhua o Bell Rock, kei reira he tirohanga miharo rawa atu, a i ka noho atu e tahi o ngā kapa e rongo ai i a rātou te mauri ora. Oh, that's so cool! Oh. Control! Wait, I might just have to run out. Wait, can we recreate the lion thing? Check this out. Beautiful. Yeah. Now we have to run back up the hill. As it turned out, all teams vying for positions at the stage had opted in on the Bell Rock trek, and New Plymouth Boys High had started to stretch their lead in the male competition. New Plymouth Girls were also stretching out on the lead in the female comp with Whangarei Girls the best part of an hour behind the leaders at this stage. In the mixed competition, Whakatani had taken the lead, but St Andrews White were not far behind with a large gap back to St Andrews Blue. Katoa o te wahanga tuatoru he kōwhiringa mā ngā kaiwhakataitai, ka ea ana i a rātou ngā wero e rua, ka hari katoa ngā kapa. First, after a 5km bike ride down Pohokuda Road, the teams needed to walk along Bellbird Bush Stream and through a cave, which to exit they needed to pull themselves up a rope to scale the muddy bank at the end, one by one, to net themselves 400 points. Earlier, we'd seen mixed team Onslow Crag at Shine Falls. Charlie was kind enough to wear a GoPro for us through this section of the race. I can't see for all the ferns. Ryan and Charlie had lost their teammate Gria to illness the night before arriving in Hawke's Bay, and overnight their other teammate Ali. By the start of this league, Ali had joined the team. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. Those trees are sick. Oh my god. My feet are dying. This is kind of nice for my cramp though. Bro, no swimming. Oh. Dry, yeah, I told you, you're not staying dry. <laughs> you're right, Ryan. Yeah, I'm just waiting for Ali to go. I'm gonna slip into the.
I told you you're gonna get wet. Our shoe's gonna come off. Far out. <laughs> nice one, Ryan. Oh! Ow! All right. There's a bunch of potholes. My leg got stuck between a, a rock and a hard place, literally. You all right? Yeah. Oh. This is really sketchy, you can't see in the water. Okay, you're not actually supposed to walk in water if you can't see the bottom. <laughs> Hello? How do I get over this? Oh no, this doesn't look too bad. Ah, ready? Go, 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 go. It seems pretty bad. You guys got a form to say. Thanks. No, I'm oh. just, I'm just built different. Oh, and, and you'll get it on camera, Charlie. Yeah, yeah come on. Yeah. No, okay, I'm actually falling. <laughs> You're right. Do you want me to go first? Yeah. No, good. I think I've some. Careful of the fern. Can I grab onto that? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Yes. How are you fighting after the fern? <laughs> oh my god. No, I'm gonna get it first try. I'm just like that. Yeah. I'm just like that. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Yo. Oh. It's not my fault. It's why you're slipping. Okay. Get your foot on the fern. Which one? Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Easy. You right, Ali? You're right, Ellie? You ready, All right, I'll film you giving her a hand up. It's like teamwork, isn't it? No, oh, she almost fell down. <laughs> Grab her. Yep. Get up. Teamwork. <laughs> And while Charlie and his team were working their way to the cave, the leading teams had been working away at the next optional leg. Probably the trickiest strategic decision of the day for most teams was whether to jump back on their bikes after the cave exit and climb to the summit of Taraponui, a likely leg killer in a two to three hour round trip worth 600 points. What no team knew was that access to the actual summit was closed, and so this was as far as they had to climb. Here's the Onslow Purple People leaders again, who were the third team to reach the Tihi control. Te nuinga o ngā kapa i pikiaki i te pari i ora o rātou waiwai i ngā wāhanga tūpaupau o te pari.
back to Charlie and the mixed team Onslow Craig as they approach the cave. Oh wow, are we here? Oh no. This this feels like we're in a cave. Why don't we just come in here? I feel like that road yeah. True. In a fashion adventure. But... <laughs> Here we are, lads. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Oh wow. Oh wow. Yeah. This rock's really sharp. Careful. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's raising my hand. Yeah. Can someone take my side? Please, I'm holding. If you just get from the first point. Just wash your hand as well. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, uh, no, I'm alright. Woohoohoo! Get it out of your hand as soon as you Oh, are you alright? It's hey? Alright. Alright, cool. Oh, okay, cool. Grab onto the rope. Don't use your hands. It won't end well. The rope's slippery and muddy. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Like 400 points. Yeah, really like a lot of points. How oh. Bad. I think one at a time will probably work best. You haven't done a max. All right, I'm up. Charlie and his team exited the cave an hour after the leading mixed team, nearly two hours behind the leading male team from New Plymouth. So they skipped the Taraponui summit climb and rode their bikes down the hill towards Transition Area 3 at Obowahi Wilderness Base. So at the end of Section 3, Onslow College had passed Francis Douglas into third place in the male competition, and while no positions had changed in the female or mixed comps, both Whangarei Girls and St Andrews Blue teams had chosen not to climb Taraponui Summit. So while they both sit 600 points behind the teams in front of them, they've both given themselves more time than their opponents to complete the remaining challenges before the 12 hour mark of 6pm. I te taunga whakawhiti tuaturu e kai i whakakotahi anō ai, te nuinga o ngā tīma. Much of the remaining sections 4 and 5 could be completed in any order, section 4 being the row gain and section 5 being a list of various activities. The row gain offered nearly 2,000 points to competing teams with controls that ranged in value from 50 to 200 points. They were spread out in a fairly large area either side of Pohokura Road and could mean travelling up to 9 or 10 kilometres on foot in order to clip all 20 controls. With the activity section ahead, 
teams would need to decide how much of the row gain they would attempt to complete. Ko te ahua tanga matua o te momo afe ararau, row gain, and the part most teams completed if they were pressed for time was controls R18 and R19, which could be found in the gorge section. There was only one way in and one way out of the gorge, and portai maro were compulsory safety equipment to be worn. Other features of the Rogain were the potential hazards such as tomo, rabbit holes, livestock, and taiepa hiko. The New Plymouth Boys High School team were the only team to complete the Rogain section entirely, and it's interesting to see the path they took in order to obtain all Tahimano, Warudo, Rimatekao Piro. Nā te nuinga o ngā tīma i te tōnga o te rā, they had to work out in what order to try and achieve as many points as they could. So before attempting to collect row gain points after the summit climb, many rested their waiwai and engaged themselves in the activities section first. The gear check actually occurred for all teams before the Bellbird Bush Stream and Cavewalk. The Tauta and Waka activities seemed to be section favourites, while the Panga were a great chance to rest some tired waiwai. There were challenges that tested teamwork and problem-solving skills, sending in-reach messages, rope skills, orienteering and firelighting. Yeah, guys, come on. So, oh gosh. Wonderful. Sweet. Speed now, speed. Speed. Good work, boys. I like the team. One final compulsory leg was a two kilometre lap of the Rotol that included three controls to be clipped along the way. It had been a huge day for Go for 12 competitors and emotions were high for all teams as they finished their race. Most teams had covered an excess of Fetutako kilometre throughout their ra, and all should feel proud of their efforts. <laughs> Examination of the final points table shows New Plymouth Boys High atop the Whakatai Tai Tāne, having held the lead ever since the completion of the first leg. John Paul College was second, and Onslow Purple People Eaters were third. Whangarei Girls High School's tactic on passing on the tihi climb 
paid off as they gathered many more Rogain points than their opposition, just sneaking in above New Plymouth Girls High School by less than Kotahiro Piro to win Te Whakatai Tai Wahine. And in the mixed, the same tactic nearly paid off for the St Andrews Blue team, who like Whangarei gathered more Rogain points. However, Whakatane managed to hold on to the win. St Andrews White was the only team to finish after 6pm and were penalised 180 points. However, they still managed to hold on to Te Turanga Tuatoru.